Hi friends, it's Auntie Cuckoo, and today I'm bringing you two DIYs as part of our series, Fall in July. Today we'll be making some adorable fall-inspired wooden houses and this jar of farm fresh pumpkin. First up, we're gonna work on our houses. So these little houses are something I've wanted to make for quite a while now. I picked them up in the dollar section at Michael's for just a dollar a piece. For my decor this year, I decided to paint one in a burnt orange color, one in a creamy antique white, and also one in gray. After my house colors had dried, I went ahead and started off with some simple shapes, some squares and rectangles for the windows, letting them dry completely before adding any detail. If you wanted, you could make all of your houses identical. I wanted to give each house its own little look. So some have one window, some have two, and I tried to alternate colors on the roof as well as the front doors. This DIY does not require a whole lot of painting skills. When it comes right down to it, you're just painting simple shapes, squares, circles, and rectangles. Anyone can do it. For the roof, I used the edge of my brush to create a bit of a roof line in front and then went ahead and painted the top out in the same color. Now you could stop right here or continue to add detail. Now let's move on to DIY number two, our jar of farm fresh pumpkin. So I used an old Halloween sign from the Dollar Tree, but they have out some jar signs right now for their fall decor. Let me show you how I remove the stickers from the back of my Dollar Tree signs. I turn my iron on as high and as dry of a setting as it has. I simply put something between it like a paper towel and give it a good ironing and those stickers and labels will come right off with no trouble. This is now the only way that I remove my labels and stickers. I love to use the back side of Dollar Tree signs to DIY and this makes it so simple. Once you've removed your label, you can go ahead and paint your jar of pumpkin in any color you choose. I mixed some orange and brown for the perfect color. Once the orange paint had dried thoroughly, I added a off-white creamy rectangle as our label, letting it dry completely as well. Once it had dried, I used a pencil to sketch out my lettering. Now I am always so nervous about painting letters and numbers. I have found that using a pencil first to trace out the sizing and spacing of my letters helps me tremendously. That makes it super easy to go back over your pencil lines with your paint or erase it and start all over. I also learned for this project that the paint was a little unruly, so I got the idea halfway through to use my Sharpie. And for the word pumpkin, it worked out so much better. I just went over them lightly and then went back over with a heavier hand for some thicker strokes. Now on to our lid. For this, I used a little bit of gray paint right along the top in a couple of coats, letting it dry completely. While our lid is drying, I decided to add some detail to the jar with some creamy white paint, just making it look like the jar is reflecting the light. I swapped out my hanger for some jute twine. The other one was a black ribbon. This one I think matches the rustic farmhouse feel of this a little bit better. And for our lid detail, so this is something I can't find the footage for. All I did was make a couple of lines and it's pretty self-explanatory. First off, I used my paintbrush and black paint to paint some horizontal lines and then I went right back in with some tiny vertical lines. And now for some embellishment, I decided to add a little bit of black and white gingham ribbon around the top of our lid, just hot gluing it into place in both the front and back and adding a little bow right in the center. And that's all there is to these simple DIYs. And really each of them just cost a dollar. Each little house was a dollar at Michael's and my jar sign is just a dollar from Dollar Tree. If you have some paint on hand, you can transform these things and create your own fall decor for pennies. 
Let me know down in the comments which is your favorite. I hope you all enjoyed this finale to our week-long series of Fall in July. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you back very soon.